All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode. Out here with Matt today, got the kayaks loaded up, ready to head out there on the water and uh, primarily try and get after some tatag. So we're packing a bunch of green crabs here in uh, the buckets. And uh, I haven't really tatag fished this area a whole lot, but um, a few years back I did some free diving here and uh, you know, saw some really nice tatag. So I know that they're in this area and uh, there's also a chance for some stripers. It's a little foggy as you can see. And, um, you know, if we were going to be going like really far out, um, we probably would not be fishing at all. Probably would be packing it up, but uh, we're going to be like within like 20, 30, 40 yards of the shore, primarily, you know, the entire morning. And uh, it's also going to be like really shallow water with like a lot of big boulders where like a lot of boats don't um, do a whole lot of running. Um, and that's just kind of like knowledge of the area. So I think we should be good. And uh, we're just going to kind of work together. We got, you know, flags, got whistles. And, um, you know, hopefully if we see a boat coming at us, we'll just uh, try and avoid them or make a lot of noise so that they can see us and uh, hear us. But, um, yeah, let's get out there and uh, see if we can find some fish. Ready? All right. And we are off out here on the Born Salty Breakwater 12 today. It's gonna be nice to finally be back, back out in the kayak. I was out once last week trying to do some Albi fishing, but uh, didn't find any. Just found a bunch of adult bunker and some really small cocktail blues, so I didn't upload a video. But uh, yeah, there's a chance we might also get on some Albies today, or at least some stripers and blues if we can't find Tatog. Just cut up a bunch of green crabs here. Got it rigged up on a dropper loop. We did uh, stop at a spot real quick uh, with some boulders along the shoreline, and I threw around a little top water spook with uh, out of touch. And it's like one of those spots where you take a few casts if you get a bite or a swirl. There's a fish there, but uh, I was kind of record. I thought I was recording it, but I wasn't. Um, and uh, so we're scrapping the little quick striper plan, and now we're gonna focus on just uh, going along and like probably. 10 to 20 foot of water and uh, I'm gonna see if I can find some nice structure that we can just drop our crab chunks on and uh, hopefully get bit. Wow, there's so much rain bait here. It's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see, like it looks kind of like little rain droplets. That's just a little tiny bait. You can see it all here on the screen. Whew. Really surprised there isn't uh, at least some schoolies in here popping on this. I guess they gotta be here for them to do that. It's crazy. We're in 10 feet of water right now and I can see my crab right along the bottom. That's how clear the water is. Just came up pretty sharp from like 12 to 9 feet. Oh, you were in. Heck yeah. It's pulling pretty good. Nice. Hey, well, that's a start. That was cool. I saw that little edge and, you know, Matt threw right where I threw. It's funny, you hit your crab, you hit mine. What the heck? looks pretty rocky right here like there definitely should be a couple tog really rocky mat right here this is looking good oh man nice bite right there real one? yeah it was, it was a real bite yeah missed them though oh clean me off Bigger tog might have gotten eaten by uh, the seals. Never mind. Okay, nice fish. That looks like a good one. I'm gonna see if I can catch his buddy. That's better. Heck yeah. We'll have to measure him. 16 inches. Nice. There's one. 
Finally. Found myself a little toggy to break the ice. That's what I'm talking about. Just a little female. How long was that one? 15. 15, all right, so it's not bad and inch shy. Whew. there she goes. All right, well pretty sweet, we found a little spot. A little here. concentration, heck yeah, woo! No, I want, like I want to stay on the move. That's what like spe like you're wearing it. We're in an area with not a lot of current. If it was ripping here, a lot of current, then anchoring, yeah, I could totally see it. Pulling pretty good. Crimped down. You snagged them. Oh, I tell you, we spot. We all get on the spot. We would get on all that. There's another one. Bad one. Doubled up, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, right in the face. All right, back in action. So, really, for today's outing, I'm just hoping we could get at least like one keeper each. And we're going over a solid big boulder right now. So we're gonna drop straight down. Maybe our keeper will be sitting right on it. Getting nailed back here, dude. Oh, whew. Ooh, big bite. Oh man, he dropped it. Yeah. Oh, good one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo -hoo -hoo! Didn't even feel a tap, dude. Just solid weight. Nah, nah it'll be close. Fifteen. For those of you guys that uh, don't tog fish a lot, but are thinking about you know doing it more, getting into it, after I you know slice the crab in half, this is the top shell here. Throw, I scrap that and just use the juicy insides there, and uh, that's what's working today. And uh, we're gonna hook this piece on, go back up to that same boulder. Maybe we can catch. Uh, that last girl's boyfriend. Big old white chin a chin chin. Let's see what you got. Nice. There you go. That's definitely a keeper. Yeah, easily. It's a female, it looks like. How do we want to do this? I don't know if I should string room with all the seals. Oh yeah, hmm. there's a ton of seals around. I don't know if I would string them either. Um, I mean, they're pretty hardy. Like you could probably just like tie them down and throw them in your in, in the back of your kayak, and it will probably be alive for like the next like hour or two. Like they're they're really hardy fish. Um, you think I should just throw them in, or you could just put them in your front hatch. He'll probably stay, you know, somewhat fresher in there. Whoa, baby. Yo, oh, yeah, feels like it. This might be a keeper. Pulling hard like one. Oh, this is a gorgeous one, though. Got, like a copper color to her. Look at that one right there. Oh, 15 and a half, dude. All right, let's try that same spot again. Super fun fight. 
Like nothing better than like light tackle inshore kayak togging. They like are such a small fish, but they like they can turn the entire kayak all the way around. They pull hard. I mean, I totally think there's a chance like we could get a five, six pounder out of nowhere, you know? Another good one. That looks like a real one. Oh, did he break? Oh, he popped off. <sighs> good one. Oh my gosh, dude. It's a good fish. Oh, I hope he didn't get me in a rock. He did. He got me under a rock, dude. No way. I think he might still be on. Yeah, he's definitely still on, but he's caught in a rock. Dang it. Like I could feel the line rubbing on it. It could just be caught on like the corner of a rock or I'm not sure. If I'm lucky, maybe he'll just swim out. Still on there? Yeah, he's still on. Intense little battle here. Oh, oh, he's out, he's out. Got him out, dude. Oh, he's trying to get back in. He went back in. Fudge, dude. It's a good fish. Oh, please. Please stay hooked. Yeah, he's he's a good fish, dude. I mean, or it's just a keeper that just like found the right hole. I'm not sure, but like, oh, I think he's coming up now. Yeah, we got him. Got him out. Oh, he's going back down. No, no, no. Take it easy, baby. Take it easy. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Woo! It's not, like, like, too huge, but it's a nice fish for this area. Oh, so stoked. <laughs> Let's go. Let's freaking go. That was sweet. We're gonna keep this guy for the table. Look at that gorgeous tog and look at that beautiful like copperish color. Just love that. Sorry, buddy. I won that fight, but you definitely made it fun and interesting. Woo! Let's freaking go. All right. Let's uh, go back up current and get back on that same rock and see if we can get on another one. Or actually first... We should probably check our leader. Oh, yeah. We are all mangled up. Our main line is good. We're like right here, we might have to retie. Yeah, we're, we're actually have to put on a whole new rig just to play it safe. Because if we hook into another nice fish like that, I do not uh, want to lose them. So before we came out today, I rigged up a couple extra dropper loops. It's always good to have a few extras ready to go when tog fishing because. You know, you're definitely gonna lose a couple. I would assume, you know, to make the assumption, you'll lose probably like at least two rigs in a day. If you don't lose any rigs, like <laughs> you're doing pretty good. Um, you know, I got lucky with that big fish that, uh, you know, I was just able to kind of circle him and, you know, give him some slack and he swam out and uh, we got him. But uh, we might not get so lucky with the next one. If the next fish is bigger or just uh, gets in the wrong hole, like we might just not be able to get him out and might just have to break them off but you know I'm really good we didn't have to do that to that last one and I'm tying a polymer knot to my swivel and then I'm gonna pull the rig through the loop so I can get it to the other side and pull it tight I just feel like with braid a polymer knot is like one of the best knots to use when tying direct with braid I would say
All right, that looks good. And we're using 30 pound fluorocarbon as our leader material. All right, let me take, let me get a look. That hooked up on a big end. It's not bad. I, I set my drag so tight after you caught your big one. Oh, you're using the 5,000 Evic too. You can do that. Yeah, using I a bigger reel. Just crunched them out of there without even having to worry about the. Like, I'll show you mine. That's mine right there. That's all I It's another keeper though. Yeah, they're they're here. I think they're starting to feed better with uh, the tide picking up a little bit. Wait, is there rocks here? I want to mark this spot. You already drifted off of it. Let me let me get to it and mark it real quick. Like right here is the edge of it. Oh gosh, good one. Keeper. Feels like it might be. It's pulling good. Nope, probably a little short. Another 15 incher. This is so much fun. Yeah. You can say that again. <clears throat> Ooh, nice rock right below us here. I can only imagine it's deep in there. Oh boy. Woohoo! <laughs> Look <laughs> Listen to that run, dude. This might be another nice fish. Didn't pull like that at all in the beginning. It didn't look big in the beginning. No, not at all. That's a nice one. Is it a keeper? It's gonna be close. <clears throat> Sixteen on the dot, like or sixteen, like in a quarter, maybe if I like really tried to stretch them. But yeah, it's a nice little keeper. Now, what I've been doing with my catch today, because uh, there's quite a few seals around. I think there was like six swimming around nearby. I didn't want to have them on a stringer and worry about the seal taking my catch. So um, I'm putting the tog just right in this little hatch right there. And what's cool about it is I can put some water in there and this is like a nice like little fish box because like the water isn't getting inside the actual hull itself it's just getting inside this hatch so pretty cool like that'll be a lot easier to clean than say if like you know that hatch went like throughout the entire inside of the hull no! nice <laughs> that's about the size of my bigger one let's go <laughs> give give the folks at home a view of that nice fish all right, nice saw a little toggy right there. You yes. want a picture? Are you holding it or no? Yeah, sure. Ooh, juicy structure right here. Cast right at my stern. Oh, dude. Oh, good one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's such a light bite too, dude. Dude, the big ones bite light, it's weird. Yeah, I mean, they got a bigger mouth, they can just like slurp it in. Oh, yeah, it's a keeper. Heck yeah, another solid fish. Whew, that is a nice fish. I might throw this one back. All right. There she goes, sweet. All right, so super stoked. We caught our third keeper of the outing so far. Matt has uh, three in the keepers as well. And I threw that one back uh, just because I feel like two is just enough. I also got some sea bass still back at home in the fridge. So I kind of want to just take what I know I can eat in like a couple days. And uh, being that I live out here, I can always just come back out tomorrow if I want to catch some more. And uh, we're allowed four for our limit. So maybe we just catch one more nicer fish and uh, head on out of here. So let's do it. I'm just going big right now. Go big or go home, right? Real big piece. Oh, dude. On that big piece. How big is he? Definitely another keeper. 
Oh yeah. This thing is just bulldogging me. Whew. This might be the right way to end it. You like that though? Yeah. I loaded up that hook with some extra crab. And it worked out. Not bad. What's up, buddy? All right, well, we caught four nice ones today. So technically I caught a limit. I could have kept the other two, but uh, threw them back and we got a few more pieces of chunks of bait here, which uh, I guess we'll try and finish up. And we got probably still about another like few dozen green crabs left alive, but we'll save those for another day. And uh, then we're gonna start heading down out of here, like through the white out, like just look, look how foggy it is, it's crazy. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys back at the dock where we're gonna cut up some of these fish. All right, Fishaholics, we are at the dock. This is where we're gonna whack up today's catch out there on the kayak. And uh, this is looking good. Check all of our beautiful blackfish out. We have got some nice ones there. My uh, bigger one here that I threw on the BOGO was about four and a half. So I would say, you know, Matt's biggest, that was probably like three and three quarters, four. And then the other three we got here probably were around like two and a half, two and a half three pounds. So solid fish. Uh, and it was kind of like, you know, when we first got there, they were all dinks. So to- it Took a while to find them too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it took a long time to find them, at least like two and a half hours. And um, and when we started catching them, you know, they went from like this big to you know, this size. So, um, you know, we, we learned a lot. We didn't never even fit, like found, knew that spot. We just found it today and fished it and uh, put some work in. So Is now we're gonna start spot? whacking them up. And uh, I've got this new bubble blade. It's kind of like a big pocket knife. I'm gonna try this. So um, see how it works. Oh yeah, just because of today's outing? Yeah, bro, I haven't had a good flash fish day like that in a while. <laughs> Heck yeah. Wait, I mean, you probably haven't either. Uh, she's good for fish like that. Yeah. All right, there you have it. Four fillets of my Totoog harvest. That just looks super good right there. I can't wait to take this home and uh, maybe cook it blackened or uh, panko fry it and just in a pan put some pepper jack cheese over with some salsa and then heat it up in the oven, like that'll taste amazing. Or just even fish tacos would be good. You can't really go wrong with uh, Tatog, but uh, sweet outing, right? Like yes, sir. we hammered them and uh, it was a total surprise. First time, you know, fishing that area. And um, sometimes you get, you have a little luck on your side like that, but I was definitely using my electronics a lot to just find the structure. And for like the first two hours, we were always constantly on the move until I found uh, some bottom that I just thought looked like really juicy and would have some Tatog. And- uh, Juicy it was? <laughs> it was. Um, so um, like this video and subscribe to you know, keep it up to date. And if you guys want to see more Tatog uh, vids, uh, definitely we'll probably get out in the boat and maybe hit some of the islands coming up and see if we can get some bigger Tog or get out in the kayak and fish around the same area and um, also probably we'll be hitting the surf a lot. But um, yeah, pretty impressed too with this uh, bubble blade, pretty sweet. And then you can just press here and fold it back in. My hands are like a little slimy, but yeah, it just folds back in like that. Kind of don't want to put it in there. I want to clean it first, but yeah, super fun outing. And uh, I guess uh, like always, live to fish, fish to live. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Yes, sir.